from the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. Um, my parents and my family were really good friends with the Goldmans, and Sid asked us to sing, so we obviously wanted to do that. But today you're only seeing six of us, but it's the better looking half of the group, so it's okay. <laughs> um, and it's a wonderful day, it's so warm, um, June. And, um, but we have a few songs that we wanted to sing for you, so we hope you enjoy. And congratulations to Sid and Jeff on their 30th anniversary. We hope for at least another 30 years more. <laughs> Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, oh, I believe in yesterday. Oh, I believe in. Baby 
It's a beautiful night, we're looking for something dumb to do. Hey baby, I think I wanna marry you. Is it the look in your eyes or is it this dancing juice? Who cares, baby? I think I wanna marry you. She'll say yes. She'll say yes. Inside scoop. She left to go play golf. <laughs> <laughs> Side scoop. Hysterical. Blessed be you that come here in the name of Adonai. O oh God, supreme in blessing, supreme in might and glory, guide and bless Sidney and Jeff, these loving married companions, as they recall and relive the time of their kiddushin, their covenant of marriage. <clears throat> guide them further on their life's journey. Together let them find favor in the eyes of those who see them together and let them continue to build a Jewish home worthy of praise where they will find tranquility in their lives. May their endeavors be blessed. May the love that binds them be strong and lasting and let their <coughs> hearts continue to be filled with patience and understanding for one another. May they be blessed with a long life together filled with good health, joy, and companionship. Their love and friendship continuing to deepen through the years and embraced by the love of their family. And together we say, Amen. We are here as family and friends to share in Sydney and Jeff's joy as they commemorate their 30th wedding anniversary. We will be saying a number of blessings and one of the ways that we share in the joy and in the blessings is to, is to um, respond with a spirited Amen. Our tradition has much to say about love, often comparing God's marriage with the nation of Israel to the covenantal marriage between two people. Marriage is part of the basis of how the Jewish people came to be. We believe in its sanctity, in the holiness of loving commitment, one to the other. 30 years of marriage is indeed something to celebrate. This is a time not only of renewal, but of looking back as well to those moments under the chuppah 30 years ago 
when you consecrated yourselves to each other with the words of the Hooray At. Do you remember them? Be thou consecrated unto me with this ring, according to the law of Moshe of Israel. And so this is also a time of sacred memory, recalling the words of the prophets as you visualize your wedding ceremony. You visualize it? Okay. okay. I remember the love of your youth, the, demo the devotion of your commitment, says Jeremiah. So may the two of you always carry within your hearts the love of your youth. It is the basis upon which you have built your marriage. This is a time of sacred joy and gratitude, recalling the counsel of the ancient sage Ecclesiastes, who said, chaim im isha ahavta, enjoy happiness with the woman you love. And you have, Jeff, just as you have enjoyed happiness with the man you love, Sydney. So Sydney and Jeff, I'm going to ask you now to face each other and to look into each other's eyes in the presence of God, guardian of the home you've built together. And standing before your beloved children and loving friends, please say these hallowed words together, just as God spoke them to the people of Israel standing at Mount Sinai. So please repeat after me. I have betrothed you to me always. I have betrothed you to me always. I have betrothed you to me in righteousness and love. I have betrothed you to me in righteousness and love. I have betrothed you to me in faithfulness. And from our ultimate poem of love, the Song of Songs, Shir Hashirim, please say these words together, sanctifying your love and relationship. Ani, Ani. Lidodi, Vidodi, Lee. I am for my beloved. I am for my beloved. And my beloved is for me. And my beloved is for me. And now, Jeff, I understand you have a few <laughs> words you want like to share. <laughs> when you first broached the idea of this recommitment ceremony to me, you know, initially I was very intrigued. <laughs> and while I was thinking about it, as I usually do, I don't rush to any judgment, you looked at me and you said, you want to marry me again, don't you? <laughs> Of course I do. And to further reinforce the idea of this ceremony, you reminded me that the 30th year anniversary is marked by diamonds. And that we had a choice. <laughs> or we could have the diamonds and my mind had been made up. <laughs> I love having this thing. <laughs> there are many things that I love about you after 30 plus years. Uh, a couple of things, there's many things, a couple of things come to mind. I'd say the first is that I enjoy being with you. Whatever it may be, we have a lot of fun together, we do a lot of different things together, so I think that's number one. And number two is that you're a doer, to say the least. Whether, <laughs> it's, whether it was tennis originally, it was jogging, it became golf, bridge, canasta, <laughs> movie reviews, book reviews, charitable work with Cystic Fibrosis or the Rehab Institute. You, you are a doer, you do a lot, um, and that I admire that about you. Uh, sometimes it can be an extreme. Uh, one immediately comes to mind. There were summers that we took Cameron up to northern Michigan for overnight camp, and we would enjoy our drive back to Chicago, and we would stop and play different golf courses. And the one distinct memory that I have was the one day we had started very early in the morning. We had played 45 holes of golf. <laughs> it was well past dinner time, and it does stay light out in northern Michigan. And you looked at me, and you said, nine more holes. <laughs> so we played 54 holes of golf, and we had a great time. 
And what's not great about having a partner that loves golf? <laughs> Our 25th was in Pebble Beach. 25th wedding anniversary was in Pebble Beach. My 50th birthday was in Bandon Dunes. We were at uh, Hilton Head, but it's great to enjoy, you know, so many things together. So I love those things about you. And it was probably 30 and a half years, almost to the day, that we had that romantic lunch at the East Bank Club. And we were talking about different things and maybe trying to get away for a couple of days and we were sort of having some issues trying to resolve it and you said, well, you know, what do you want to do? And I looked at you and I said, well, if I had my way, I would marry you tomorrow. A lot of you people don't know I'm very romantic. So. <laughs> <laughs> more. More, but really in closing, I'll never know what I did to deserve a life this good, but I do know what's at the very heart of it, which is you. I guess this time it's okay to kiss in the middle of the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we leave anyone in suspense, Sydney will be speaking in a while. Okay, so please kiss. Okay. No life proceeds in a straight line, neither do our marriages. The fact is, our lives are often filled with unexpected challenges. It's just part of the human condition. And our tradition is mindful of this and joining us over and over to rejoice when we can, to create these moments of joy while we have them, and to celebrate our loving relationships. And so please join me in chanting the Shehetianu, to create these moments of joy while we have them, and to celebrate our loving relationships. And so please join me in chanting the Shehetianu. Baruch atah Eloheinu melech ha'olam Shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'higyanu l'azman Amen. Praised are you, O Lord, our God, Master of the Universe, who has given us life, sustained us, and brought us to this joyous moment. of your ketubah are as true today as they were on your 15th wedding anniversary as they were on the day that you were married. And so I'm now going to read from your ketubah. Be'afad v'shabbat v'arba'a v'asrim yom l'chodesh sivan shna chamesh et alafim u'shva me'ot Shimonim Shalosh Livriad Alam Laminyan Sha'anu Monini Khan by Chicago, Illinois, by Medina, America Hatsfoni, Echatan, Yaakov Ben Aram Hirsch, Halevi, Udavora, Mechona, Golnan, Amarla, Lahada, Khana, Bat Mordechai, Hakohain, Vasara, Mechona, Berger, the Velili in Tokada, Moshe, the Yisrael, Sydney Berger. And Jeffrey Goldman entered the Holy Covenant of Marriage in Chicago, Illinois, on the 24th day of Sivan in the year 5733. <laughs> the bride and the groom declared, I shall honor and cherish you and be your loving and devoted friend. Our lives intertwined forever, and our hearts beat as one in days of joy as in days of sorrow. May our home be illuminated by the light of Torah, loving kindness, and the heritage of our people. This covenant of marriage has been signed and witnessed according to the laws of Moshe and the traditions of the people of Yisrael. Bahakal Sharir Vikayam, all of this is valid and binding still 30 years later. sages of our tradition went to great lengths to establish that a marriage is not a one-time event. With the dawning of each and every day, we are taught married couples choose to remain married again and again. It is an act which reverberates and repeats itself throughout the duration of your lives together. So it is a good thing you found one another because during these last 30 years, your love has been enduring and it has deepened. 
It has helped to shape who each of you have become. It has brought you love, understanding, and companionship. It has heightened life's joys and sweetened life's bitterness. King Solomon said in the Song of Songs, let me be a seal on your heart, and you have been a seal on each other's hearts for these past 30 years. You just belong together, and you continue to feel grateful and blessed that you are each other's life partner. There's a sense of balance between the two of you, of compatibility. You still make each other laugh. You are each other's supportive, empathic, loving best friends, sharing so many of the same interests, whether it's travel, golf, tennis. You just love being together, and you've taken that love and built something real and of everlasting importance, a family, your children, whose lives you have nurtured and guided with your generosity of spirit and love. We are commanded to honor our parents. We are not commanded to love them. Parents earn love, and all four of yours love the two of you endlessly. You are wonderful role models to them in so many ways. And your reach, of course, extends beyond your family and friends advocating for others and for causes you believe in, thereby making a real difference in this world and in the lives of so many people. Your marriage has brought light into our world, a world desperately in need of it. There's a holy quality to light. It is symbolic of the great spirit that is in each of your lives and that your marriage has enhanced. May your lives continue to be filled with times where you find the deepest blessing from one another. You are indeed blessed not only because you are loved, but because you love. 30 years is a good start. <laughs> but as the poet Robert Browning once said, grow old with me, the best is yet to be. In your love for one another, it is my prayer, it is our prayer, that you continue together to stand as a blessing of peace and completeness of shalom. Ratzon, so may it be God's will, and together we all say, Amen. Amen. And now, we're going to hear from Cameron, who's going to speak on behalf of the Goldman Gang. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. There's no way, I know we're all cold, so I'll make this brief, and there's no way I could ever run up that acapella group, which really blew me away. But, um, I just want to say that uh, I was tasked with finding a speech, like I always do, I procrastinate it. And I think I am the founder of procrastination. I would have invented it had I not procrastinated the invention. But um, I was tasked with moving out. We moved houses recently, and I, upon moving out of the house, I realized an old cabinet that I've never opened. And upon opening, I found images of them predating marriage and even on their honeymoon. And with that was this note that my mother doesn't even know I'm about to read, and uh, it was a love letter my father wrote her. So if you, instead, of, instead of looking at me, I mean, if you want a genuine reaction, if you think she teared coming over, I, the waterworks are yet to begin. And uh, I mean, it, it's very old, very, very old. I mean, this is when my father had a full head of hair, and my mother was as beautiful as she was back then, so there's nothing changed there. But I do have archaeologists carbon dating this to give you an exact, exact time. Of course, he would write it on legal pad <laughs> instead of uh, uh, titled Sunday Night. So uh, uh, I'm just going to read. <laughs> uh, so it starts, Dear Cindy, and uh, I'm just going to read a couple of excerpts. And um, to begin, it's. It has been only a couple of hours since we said goodbye, but as you could expect, I miss you like crazy. And you put three exclamation marks on crazy, so I should read that differently. I miss you like crazy. I feel answer that. Needless to say, this weekend was fantastic, but this is really no different than any other time when we are together. Any affection or feelings that I have had for anyone in the past pales in comparison to the love and feelings that I have for you. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have never felt this way before, and know deep inside that I could never care about anyone the way I care for you. You really are, and quite honestly, thinking about you and how happy I am when we are gets me through the day. 
Nothing in my life seems to be as important to me as you are, and I know nothing will be. There's more. There's more. <laughs> I mean, any time he has a bad day on the golf course and takes it out on us, you read this, and you know he has this tender, romantic center <laughs> deep down beneath. A nice jacket. Uh, that's going to be hand me down. Um, <laughs> uh, let me read this line. This is one of my favorite lines. Um, you are wonderful, sensitive, beautiful, thoughtful, romantic, etc. <laughs> and uh, just a couple more excerpts. I'll, I'll speed this up. I, I don't like being away from you even for a day. But when I am feeling lonely, I just think how lucky I am that you will be there when I get back. And I think that that has always stayed true for 30 years now. And I know that we're all cold, so I'll jump the page. And uh, this was written shortly after their honeymoon, and my dad was uh, on a flight towards Dallas, so I'll just read to you the conclusion. We will be landing soon in Dallas, which means it won't be long until I can talk to you on the phone. I can't wait to see you again and miss you like crazy, and love you more than anything in the world, even more than anybody could ever love someone. <laughs> With unbelievable love, Jeff. P.S. I still cannot find my eight iron. They have survived selling a house in this housing market. They've survived bridge. They've survived golf, which is something they do daily. They survived four children that aren't always the best and the easiest to manage, but. Uh, They've inspired me to do greatness, and I know that my three other siblings, like you said, are huge role models to us, biggest they could ever be. And um, I'm just, I want to say thank you. And now we're going to- You need to find another closet for it. <laughs> And so these sister also. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron, for having me follow you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Wait till your next birthday. <laughs> Our beloved sister Francie loved quotes, and she loved you so much, and I know how much you loved her. And so I'm going to continue the tradition today. Eva Gabor said, love is a game that two can play and both win. Jeff and Sid, you are two very competitive people and athletes. You both win at bridge sometimes. Golf most of the time, but love always. Throughout your marriage, you have fulfilled the dream of love. You have honored our parents' incredible legacy of love by your wonderful marriage and commitment to each other. You have set a tremendous example for your four beautiful children that you can find your life's partner who fulfills your dreams. On behalf of our entire family, we want to say mazel tov. We love you so much. You're winners in love and everything you do. And we're so happy for you today. And love you. And so in celebration of this special commemoration of your marriage, we offer a cup of wine and ask God's blessing upon you with the Sheva Bracha, the seven blessings, which give voice to the existence of God in our lives. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of all things for your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shahakol Barali Fahu Dohoho. Amen. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of human beings. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Yehud Seher Amen. 
We praise you, our God, ruler of the universe, who creates us to share with you in life's everlasting renewal. Baruch atah Adonai, Adonai melech haolam, asher yatzar et ha'adam b'tzama, b'tzam b'tachi toho, b'kino b'menu b'nyan ha'deyad, baruch atah Adonai, b'tzeher ha'adam. We praise you, Adonai, our God, who causes Zion to rejoice in her children's happy return. Baruch atah Adonai, m'sameach tziyahahum, b'vahaneha. We praise you, Adonai, our God, who causes loving life partners to rejoice in one another. May these loving companions rejoice as have your creatures since the days of creation. Baruch atah Adonai, m'sameach re'im ha'ahuvihim. Amen. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of joy and gladness, man and woman, loving companions, love and kinship, peace and friendship. O oh God, may there always be heard in the cities of Israel and in the streets of Jerusalem the sounds of joy and happiness, the voice of the groom and the voice of the bride, the shouts of young people celebrating, the songs of children at play. We praise you, our God, who causes husband and wife to rejoice together. Baruch atah Adonai, m'sameach re'im ha'ahudim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam borei pari ha'gafen. Amen. In the presence of this company as witness, you have spoken the words and performed the rites which continue to unite your lives. I therefore declare you, Sydney and Jeff, still married, <laughs> with the <laughs> which have bound you two together for the last 30 years in accordance with the laws of this state of Illinois and in accordance with the laws of Moshe v. Israel with the enduring support of our faith. And now I'm going to wrap you in my tarot as we ask God's blessing upon the two of you. May God bless you and protect you. May God's countenance shine upon you. May God be gracious unto you. Shalom. May God turn to you, Sydney and Jeff, always with favor. And may God continue to lift you to know a life together filled with mutual respect, shared dreams, happiness, and the most precious blessing of all, the blessing of shalom, of peace. So may it be God's will. And once again, we all say, Amen. So, the breaking of the glass <laughs> is, of course, customary with many different explanations. And as Jeff broke the glass the first time around, Sydney will do so today, sharing her own interpretation. <laughs> I remember standing in the, under the hotel room 30 years ago, as if it was yesterday. And I remember being so overcome with excitement that when you stepped on that glass, we were going to begin our lives together as husband and wife. And we had our whole future together. And 30 years have gone by, and who knew what life had in store for us? That God would bless us with the kind of daughter that everyone dreams of, that he gave Ram to us. And then he made sure that our two children would complete our family. But God and I had other plans. <laughs> we were doubly blessed with Spencer and Jared. And just when you thought the golden game may be complete, <laughs> God gave us another very special blessing, and that was you, Cameron. And the wonder of being family, 
and the joy of watching our children grow, compete in their different sports activities, perform on stage, graduate, start their careers in broadcasting, accounting, sports management, God knows what. <laughs> decisions I made on your behalf came from love, so I tried the best I can, and I always will, and I'll always, always support you. But most of all, I can say that I loved you with all my heart, and I always will. You make life worth living. You make life wonderful. And last time you shattered the glass, and I know we have many reasons and interpretations why we do that, and I'm going to share mine today. Just as in life, no one can go back and repeat the past. And once you shatter that glass, we can't put all those pieces back together and make a whole. But together, we can pick all those pieces up and move forward as a whole. And live life that's where we stand together. So I'd like to toast the next 30 years. May the best be yet to come. Empty nester life. <laughs> now let's hear it. <laughs> oh, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Retirement. If it's not asking too much. In a golf community in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Our son, Alex Shields. <laughs> 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 